You are listening to an interview with clinical hypnotherapist, Dr. Steve G. Jones. For a free hypnosis download, please visit stevegjones.com. What is the abundance mindset or the money mindset type thing that separates those from the, those who have from those who have not? Talk about that a little bit. Well, I think it's the same with, with anything we pursue. Once we really get focused on it, our subconscious mind looks for ways to manifest it, if you will, in our environment. And there's really nothing magical about that. It's just that we are looking for ways to make it so. We, we tell ourselves that we are wealthy, We start, and our subconscious mind starts, for, look, starts looking for ways to make that true. So the way it looks is we start acting on those opportunities that are presented to us. We start going to those meetings that we should be going to and, and those sorts of things. And that way we actually start manifesting. It's kind of like Lisa Nichols from The Secret says, you know, people watch The Secret and they uh, they wonder where the genie is and the magic lantern. And, and Lisa says there there is no genie. That's what she says. There is no genie. So we actually had a guy who um, used to call my office quite a bit about uh, the time that The Secret came out and uh he, he would say that he wants to see the genie. I mean, I don't know if he was talking metaphorically or, or what, but he would call quite often uh, saying that. Um, people need to realize, and that's what a lot of the people who are in the secret are now attempting to get out there, the information that they want to impart. They have to realize there's some work you have to do. I mean, it's nice to sit on your couch and think that you want to be a millionaire, but you really have to act on these things and start opening those doors that are available to you and walking through them. Otherwise, nothing actually happens. Any, any of you know, our mutual friends who are in the secret, I mean, uh, anyone you talk to who's really doing things and making them happen uh, is, is on board with that. I saw Bob Proctor uh, recently posted something on Instagram. I follow him there, and uh, it was something to the effect of, if you want to be successful, talk to a successful person, find out what they had to say about what you should do, and then do those things. So there's a very practical aspect to the whole uh, manifesting concept, even when we're dealing with the law of attraction. I think that people are so into this instant gratification that they lose sight of the fact that you might work for two or three or five or six years before you really see the fruits of your labor. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where we get into the whole concept of it's the journey, not the destination. And a lot of people don't want to hear that on their way to uh, wealth building. They want to be at that destination. But the truth is there is no destination. There's always the next level. Um, anyone who has you know, power or money, for example, what, what do they want more of? Usually they want more power and more money. So there's really, you know, anyone right. who travels the world, what do they want more of? Well, they want to travel more of the world. So you, you really never get there. Uh, and that's why I heard your last guest talking about this. That's why it's so important to practice gratitude. It goes back to the, um, the ideas from the, the Eastern world of, you know, being content and being uh, complacent. And in the Western world, we, we don't like to totally embrace that because we want to keep moving forward. But at a certain point, there has to be a balance. You really have to realize that, you know, what you are doing, hopefully, and this is the, the really important part, hopefully what you're doing is your passion. So it doesn't really matter to you how much money you're making. So this is really what separates the, the people who succeed from those who don't, because people who are in something just for the money, if the money's not there, they get out. Or if things get too difficult, they'll look for something easier. People who are in it because it's their passion, well, they're not focused on the money. And because of that, they do a really good job. They're not watching critics. They're not watching the audience. They're just doing what they know they're supposed to be doing to the best of their ability. And those are the ones who end up on top. Again, to further illustrate the, the whole uh, work ethic thing, I mean, again, Dr. Joe Vitale, uh, I think he wrote for like six or seven or eight or maybe he was, maybe he was longer than that, maybe he was for 20 years, I think is what he told me. I think it was for like 20 years he had been writing books he, and he hadn't made very much money. And, and again, he finally wrote that one book, I think he wrote it with Bill Hibbler, and it just exploded. And gave him, it started 
started him down that path of abundance and the life that he has today. But <clears throat> excuse me. But for 20 years, his his love, his passion wasn't paying his bills. Yeah, exactly. And then fast forward to uh, you know about a week ago when I was with Dr. Joe Vitale on stage in. Texas, and we were presenting the, along with Matthew Dixon and a bunch of other great people, we were presenting Advanced Ho'oponopono, which was $1,000 a ticket, and there were about 50 people there. So you don't go for, and a lot of people look at that and they think, wow, if I could just generate $50,000 by sending out an email saying that I'm doing a seminar, that would be great. What they don't realize is, yeah, all that work that came between the time that he was where they are and the time where he is where he is now, where he can command that. And that's where work and passion and persistence, like you're saying, really come into play. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about the the persistence mindset. Again, cgjones.com, as far as I know, it's the the world's largest set of audios on on things like mindset, uh, uh, hypnotic audios to help you with mindset and and confidence and things of that nature. How do we build up? What's your thoughts? How can we build up our tenacity, our our our, our ability to withstand uh, little to no reward while we're going through the journey? As you were talking about earlier, what is you know when somebody asks you, how do I build up my my tenacity or my mindset to go through uh, through maybe what could be a year's uh, minimal rewards? You are listening to an interview with clinical hypnotherapist, Dr. Steve G. Jones. For a free hypnosis download, please visit stevegjones.com. What are your thoughts on that? Well, again, it goes back to passion. You have to be doing something you're passionate about. I I was uh, talking at a a mastermind in Las Vegas uh, about uh, maybe four days ago, and that came up for one of the people. He said, you know, I'm just not uh, into this, you know, work stuff that I have to do. And he was a real estate investor. And I said, well, you know, have you thought about the the idea that you might not be passionate about it, that you might have chosen something just to make money that you think is is really good, but it's really not your passion? And he, and he said, yeah, but I don't really have the luxury of thinking about that right now. Well, at some point, if you don't give yourself the luxury of thinking about that, uh, you're going to find that what you've done and built and created is not in line with uh, your core identity, your passion, who you are, and and what you really, really feel uh, needs to be shared with the world. And we see that a lot. I mean, I've seen... I mean, when I was in graduate school at the University of Florida in the graduate psychology program, there was a guy in there who had been a practicing attorney for five years, real estate attorney, just coincidentally, but uh, this was in the uh, 90s, and he just got fed up with it. He didn't like doing that anymore. It wasn't something that drove him. Why did he go into law initially? Well, probably he was a real estate attorney, and then he was in graduate school for psychology when I, when I met him. He was my cohort. Uh, probably because he went into it just because he heard it would make a lot of money or he felt it would be a prestigious thing to do or his parents suggested that he do it or he felt that he needed to look a certain way in front of his friends or his neighbors. Uh, Those sorts of things will drive us in the wrong direction and realizing that the challenge might be that we are in the wrong profession, that we are not following our passion Uh, Although that sounds daunting to a lot of people, they don't even want to think about it, uh, that can be a really good place to start when analyzing, you know, why is this thing just not working? Yeah, this is the thing that really trips people up because it sounds so simple, and and it really is. Do something that you love to do, and maybe you'll make a good living at it. (laughs) That's really what follow your bliss comes down to. Follow your bliss sounds a lot more elegant, but... I remember Mark Cuban saying it like and like this, is that is you find something that you love to do and maybe you can make a good living at it, but you love what you're doing, so it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, yeah, right. we all want to be able to have abundance in our bank account, but doing something that you love to do means that you'll you'll never truly work another day in your life. I mean, again, I know that that's uh, an old adage and it sounds 
you know, cute and everything. But it's it's simple yet powerful, but a lot of people miss it. I mean, uh, you gave some great examples. People who become attorneys for the wrong reasons. Yeah, I, I've seen it all. You know, a lot of my friends are now professionals in various, you know, quote-unquote important jobs, and I'm not seeing a lot of satisfaction uh, coming from them. I'm seeing stress, not not across the board. I mean, some people do go into law because they're very passionate about it. So it's not about law. It's about the individual and whether they fit with that or not. And I like what you said about what Mark Cuban said about, you know, just enjoying what you're doing. And you've already arrived. As long as you're doing what you enjoy doing, no matter how much you're getting paid or how little, you've already arrived. And I also like what Kevin Spacey says. Uh, I saw him say this in an interview one time. Uh, He says there's nothing out there. You know, people go outside of themselves looking for fulfillment. And he, as a very successful actor and a wealthy person, clearly said there's nothing out there. I mean, if you want the answers, they are literally within, as cliche as that sounds. So you look within, you find out what you want to do, and then... You're never affected by these, uh, oh, things aren't selling or the market's down or whatever. You don't care about that. You're the captain of the ship, and whether it's beautiful weather or stormy weather, you enjoy being the captain, so you keep doing it. I love it. I love it, Steve. We're going to end on that note. As always, it's good to have you here. and look forward to seeing you in person soon. SteveGJones.com, the best place to get uh, your mind right, so to speak, got uh, you know thousands of I think it's thousands isn't it or at least hundreds of audios to help you with confidence with uh, with abundance with uh, weight loss with uh, anything that you might ever cons- uh, might need is available at ccjones.com absolutely thank you Bert alrighty good stuff there from Dr. C.G. Jones uh, and you know something I didn't mention and, and Steve is uh, very uh, what do you call it uh, uh not secretive, but uh, he doesn't boast about a lot about it. But he ha- he's the kind of he's the hypnotherapist a lot of the movie stars go to. You can look him up on on the uh, on the Google and, and check him out, and you'll see that he's associated with a lot of celebrity type individuals that he's helped with his hypnotherapy. So he's the go to guy for a lot of people, CEOs, celebrities alike. And stevejones.com. I'm telling you, I, I I'm. I don't get paid for saying this. I, I say it because I believe it. He's he's a uh, he's got a slew, and again, I could be wrong on, on the amount, but I think it's thousands of audios there where he covers anything you might ever cons- uh, you might uh, think you need. Yeah. Anyway, stevejones.com is the place to go. As always, I'm grateful for you guys stopping by, and remember, you were created to succeed. You're listening to an interview with clinical hypnotherapist, Dr. Steve G. Jones. For a free hypnosis download, please visit stevegjones.com.